almost invariably, um, whenever somebody's creating a piece of software, there are going to be bugs that can be exploited in ways that can cause security vulnerabilities. The general consensus among security researchers is that it's always better to have open source models. The difference between open source and closed source is actually pretty straightforward. Um, in an open source world, you share your code base. Um, often you share your data. In the instance of language models, you share the all the configuration of the model so you can reproduce the model itself without having to retrain it and then you can train on top of it in the closed source world you get an application that's it you get it you get the thing itself or you get what's called an api that allows you to call the application from a program but you don't have direct access to the nuts and bolts of what's going on the open source world you can change things closed source world not so much so what open source even means in the context of AI is um, not fully well defined. The debate can generally be boiled down into these two different ways, right? So those in favor of closed AI are typically sort of coming at it from the perspective of, well, if we, um, if we close AI, then it will be harder for threat actors to exploit the AI in malicious ways. In the open source community, the, the flexibility is powerful and useful for building things that are very specific to uh, different problems and tasks, but that means you've also giving uh, you giving the same flexibility to nefarious actors. Um, and uh, the thing is, is that if you in the open source world, if you give people access to what all the things that could be done with this code base, um, um, you might have bad things happen, but you will learn about those bad things, and you'll actually be able to plan against those bad things. It, it's sort of no secret that Musk and OpenAI have uh, have a bit of a conflict going on right now, and obviously, in some to some respect, it's like inextricable, right? Like, how much of this is led by Musk's sort of principled um, thought about like sort of the security and safety dialogue around o open large language models. So we have to remember that Elon Musk was one of the founders of OpenAI, and OpenAI was originally supposed to be exactly that open um, and doing research for the good of humanity in AI. I think the idea of taking, uh, taking Grok and making it open is a fabulous idea uh, because there the competition no longer is, you know, is it better than, than GPT 4.0 or the incoming GPT 5.0? It's, it's, it's open. You can, use, you can use it to do things. You can actually begin to understand more about what the technology is. This is exactly why competition is dead. The fact that this is raising public consciousness around this idea of open versus closed and what are the benefits versus the um, risks of both is exactly what we kind of need in society right now in order to sort of raise public awareness and get sort of more uh, important voices in this topic. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.